What is up guys, it is Turbo here and welcome, this is Oxford United episode 116 of the career mode and here we go, we have Norwich today along with Liverpool and obviously we all know which game is going to be harder but uh, we start with the easy game, Norwich who are you know not doing too well in the league at the moment but they're doing you know, better than they should be really uh, sorry they're doing worse than they should be really they are 18th I believe, so in the relegation zone and pushing to fight to fighting to come out of it and uh, we're not going to let them we're not going to let them win at all however it is on a snowy pitch and not going to lie Norwich started them off the much better side with a five, fifth minute goal from uh, Bennett there and uh, you know we, we struggled to reply in the match I really really hate snowy pitches because uh, I just can't play my football I can't pass it around the ball gets hold, held up a lot more and uh, I basically have to rely on the sweaty goals and that chance from Const Constable there was never going in but so both teams are doing that really you see this is a chance in the second half is because both teams were just running down the wing and crossing it in and nothing was going to happen because of it and neither team could really score. Sordo here has the best chance for us of the game but uh, well saved by the keeper in all honesty. However from the resulting corner as we have been doing the, the most recent episodes we whip it in and Mr F gets his big fat forehead to it on the 53rd minute and it puts us even, puts us even, even, what? Puts us level <laughs> is, what I'm, is what I'm trying to say. <coughs> Uh, that was Jordan sneezing <coughs> again, and uh, here's the replay. A really good goal straight into the bottom corner. Keeper maybe could have done a little bit better, but uh, it doesn't really matter in the end because uh, we're drawing and now we can start a comeback. We need one more goal, however, we need, we needed to keep it tight at the back to make sure we don't concede anymore, and uh, we did that relatively well. However, it was good defending from both sides really, so uh, no one no one could break through. And I, I hate relying on this crossing in tactic because it will never work for me. I don't have I, although I have tall players, it works occasionally. The rest of the time, I just like to play my football and create the chances on the floor, and it didn't really pay off for me. And I blame that mostly on the pitch that we drew, really. But uh, nevertheless, here's a, a little bit of good news. Matty Harriet wants to say you guys can read that, but uh, there was an issue with him and his contract. He wouldn't sign it initially, and uh, he, he he didn't think he was getting enough playing time and stuff like that. So I've decided to play him a little bit more, and now he uh, he says he's going to stay. So that's all good. He's a rotation midfielder, really, and. Uh, Anyway, moving to the match against Liverpool, and they are the much tougher side, and we need to win in order to stay top uh, because of that draw with Norwich. We are now one point behind Man City. Sorry, one point in front of Man City. So, uh, yeah, like I say, we need to win. Uh, really, we could have scored in the fifth minute there if, if uh, Lucas Piazza had got his like toe to it, maybe. Um, but a good bit of football from Newcastle led to Ibrahimovic being through, and a, a really good save by Clark was the only thing that stopped him scoring. Again, here, it was a snowy pitch, so... Uh, it wasn't as bad as last time, so we could actually pass the ball around a little bit better, and that's why I just decided to sweat it out in the end for that goal in the 22nd minute. Not the best goal that you will ever see. Probably one of the worst, honestly, but uh, I just didn't want to take any chances with a snowy pitch, missing chances or whatever. So uh, I was going to take I was going to take it easy as much as I could, and I wasn't I wasn't ever going to go anywhere with that ball, which is why I shot there. But uh, you know, our league was doubled on the 28th minute when I pass off. Went through and you know, kind of. I don't know. That's an interesting goal because he it, it didn't it didn't look like he was facing the goal when he struck the ball. Like, look, he isn't even facing the goal, and he smashes it in bottom corner, beat the marina, hands down. Like I said, giving us a two 0 lead, and uh, now we now we just need to hold it out to the end. Oxford Chamberlain there has a chance, but it uh, wasn't really going to go in. I hate relying on crossing it in and headering it. It just sucks nipples. And Steven Gerrard, what are you doing? Frank Lampard can score. Goals like that. Unfortunately, you can't. No, I'm joking. But uh, anyway, a really good bit of defending there to deny Liverpool. Remember, that this, the match was by far not over. They still have half an hour to reply, and you know, re try and reply they did. I mean, Andy Carroll here smashes it straight at the keeper. Luckily for us, the keeper managed to save. But a good bit of football here from him and Downing, and uh, the header was just millimeters wide, really. But uh, it was wide, and that was what really mattered. However, a lovely. Exquisite finish from Charlie Adam. I really like those kind of chip goals where you just lift it over, just like most chips. I don't know why I said that, but so that made it 2 1. And uh, actually, in a matter of minutes, Liverpool came back. Ibrahimovic there, slotting it in near post at the 88th minute. And uh, the score was 2 2. However, the drama was going to be late. We left it very, very late. And uh, despite the fact that the score was 2 2, Lucas Piazza here running for a goal. The ball falls to the Tanisov. He takes a couple of touches and finesses it. Straight into the corner of the goal. Unstoppable. 90th minute. <clears throat> that was pretty much straight from the kickoff. Lucas, Lucas Piazza just ran forwards and uh, he kind of created that goal. But uh, 92 finishing does pay off in the end. 
when uh, when you have strikers that can do that when you need them to. So uh, well done to Atanasov there, and uh, overall a really good whole team performance. But I hate snowy pitches; they're just terrible to play out in the final score. Anyway, I can't talk. Sorry. The final score was three two, as you saw there. And this, this has been the end of the episode, but before we go, as always, here's the league table. We're currently first three points in front of Chelsea, three points in front of City, six points in front of Man United, so we're all good, and we will live to keep that position next episode. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!